Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. When your Java code is not producing the results you expect, a debugger can be helpful. NetBeans IDE has a very powerful debugger built into it. In this screencast, we'll use the NetBeans debugger to step through a very simple Java program that reads three numbers into an array, finds the maximum number in the array, and then prints out the maximum number. Before starting the debugger, we insert a breakpoint into the first line in the main method. The program will run normally until it reaches the first breakpoint, and then we'll have the opportunity to interact with it. We will insert the breakpoint by clicking in the sidebar to the left of the line of code. The IDE displays a red square to the left and highlights the line of code in red to let us know that there's a breakpoint. Now we'll click the debug button to start debugging, or press Ctrl F5. Alternatively, we can right-click the file in the projects window and choose debug file or press Ctrl Shift F5. You'll see that the program starts and the line with the breakpoint is highlighted in green, indicating that the program has stopped there. Along the top in the toolbar, we now have buttons to stop the debugger, to pause, play, which means to continue to the next breakpoint, step over, step over expression, step into, step out, and step on into the cursor. Step over means to run to the next line of code. If this line of code is a method call, the entire method will complete. Note the green arrow has moved to the next line of code. We can now look at the variables window and see that my array is visible, and by clicking on the plus we see that it has three zeros in it, indexed from zero to two. We now press step into. This will actually enter the method and stop on its first line of code. We now step through the method using step over. After a number of steps, you'll see that the buttons are grayed out in the toolbar. This is because the program is waiting for input. The output window is where print lines are displayed and where we can type input. Clicking on that, we can add a number and continue. Rather than stepping through this entire method, we'll use step out, which runs the method to completion and stops at the line following it. We're now back in the main method at the print line. We'll add another breakpoint inside find max and then hit the play button to run to the next breakpoint. In the variables window, we can now add our own watches. Those are expressions we want to track. For example, we can double click and enter array two and then we will always be able to see that value. Another thing we can do is evaluate expressions. In the debug menu, select Evaluate Expression. A new window appears. We'll step to the if statement. If we want to know whether it will be true or false, we can put that expression into the window, click the green button, and we'll see that it's false. Using the debugger can allow you to go through your code step by step and see what is happening and where it is going wrong.